Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add text titles to video clips using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I have various files. I just have a few video clips in here. So you can see I've got these different video clips and I've got one audio track and I've downloaded all this content from Pixabay and the audio I've got that from uh, YouTube's free audio library. I'll put links to all of these videos in the YouTube description so you can download them as well if you want. I'll open up Magic's Move Edit Pro. I've got a blank video project loaded up here. It's at 1080p resolution, right? 1080p. So let's just go to this folder and we drag in the planet Earth. So here's the planet Earth. We can see it's 14 seconds long, so that's a bit long. So let's just cut this video. So I'll move across the timeline. I want to get to around 8 seconds. So there's 8 seconds there. Let's just cut this right here and we delete this end part. So we've just got this little planet sort of flowing in like this. And we want to add a text title to this. So let's go over to the effects section. Uh, sorry the template section here templates and we did transitions before we looked at transitions and now we want to look at um, titles right text titles so you've got loads of different ones in here some are static so when you click on them for example 3d uh, let's say 3d static and if I click the play button you would just see it's like a static title right it's just a static um, image but you can type whatever text you want in there sometimes they're useful you've got 3d basic ones as well so when you click play let's give it a second it will have some sort of animation based on it. But I like to use nice simple ones. So movement basic is normally one that I use. Or font basic or ba subtitles basic as well is pretty useful. So these ones here are quite useful as well. But let's look at movement because we want a little bit of movement in our in our uh, intro. So you can click on these and you can see the way that they're moving on each one. So it's just giving you a little demonstration of what, what you can expect. Um, but I think we'll use um, this one here. Jump out. So let's take that and drag and drop that onto the timeline and we'll drag and drop it onto the second layer. Remember in Magic's Move Edit Pro in most video editing software, the top line here will be the, the bottom layer and then these layers stack in the opposite order. So anything below is actually a layer above, you can think of it that way. So we've got, when we drag and drop it, it's highlighted yellow. You've got this little text box here. The text looks really, really small in there. But don't worry about that. We're just going to type into here in this text area. So whenever you click on this clip here, it will allow you to edit the content here. And we'll just type in, um, let's just type in planet Earth. So we type in planet Earth. And as we move across the timeline now, you'll see the text there and it's going to kind of pop out and fade away like this, right? And then we can do something else afterwards. So let's just move to the middle of the timeline. And what we'll do is increase the font here. So we can just drag this upwards. That's going to increase the font size. Uh, let's set it to around 105 or 104, something like this. So now when we move across, it's going to start a little bit bigger and then it will fade out this way. I think it's looking a bit better. We can click on here and in the font types, we can change it to a different font. I've got loads of different types of fonts. I quite like this one. I think this one looks pretty cool. It's called Nova Squares. So I think this one looks quite cool. Um, the text is a little bit hard to read because it's on white and there's some white elements inside of this planet Earth as well. So we can make it bold to make it stand out a little bit more. You can make it italic or underline it if you like. This is just center position, so left align, right align, and uh, so forth. But we'll leave it in the center. Um, there's an option here to drop a shadow, right? And there's an option here to, uh, let's see, this one here is a border. So if we click on border, we can click on the color. Maybe we'll make it black. Let's click OK. Now we've got this little black border around the edge. And that just helps to show things a little bit more clearly. And we can increase the border size as well. It's almost like a little, um, <clears throat> behaving a little bit like a drop shadow, right? But the drop shadow is actually a separate option. So you can go and experiment with these. Um, I won't go through them in too much detail. But if you want to change the font color, you can click here. Maybe you can make it like a nice sort of, uh, let's see. Let's try a blue color. Here, um, yeah, here you can actually pick a specific color. So maybe like a turquoise blue, like a water blue. Then you've got that sort of color there, right? So let's just go back and click play. Now you can see it moving. I prefer the white font, so I'll click back on here. I'll just click back on the, um, the clip here. We'll click inside here and we just select white. Let's just select white. Okay, so that's the first part done. You can see it's quite easy to add um, text titles and I'll show you some lower third examples in the next tutorial where you can have them sliding out from the side down here. Those are normally you're using, maybe you can think of this as the intro title and then maybe you use some of those sliding ones from lower third 
for other elements of the clip. But let's just finish off this video. We've got some other videos to add into here. So let's take Africa and drag that into the timeline. And we just drag that and snap it to the end here. And we want to do a little transition. I showed you this in my previous tutorial. So all we do is take this clip. We know it's on eight seconds. We're going to drag across and watch the timeline just above the clip and drag it to seven seconds. So that makes a one second duration. If we click here, we'll see a crossfade of one second, but we don't really want to crossfade. So let's go to templates. Let's go to shapes and we'll take this one here, circle echo, and we drag that onto the transition here. It's crossfade. Now it's going to change to this and you see the little red dot represents that it's being used. And when we click play now, it's going to have this sort of transition. So rather than creating a whole new title, imagine if we wanted to use this same title, but maybe change the text for the Africa one. So we'll select this, copy it. We'll move across the timeline to where the transition finishes and press control V. So control C to copy, move across the timeline, press control V. Let's move to the middle of the, um, this text clip and then you can actually see the text. We'll click here and we'll go back to effects and we'll click on the title editing. And in here we'll just type in Africa. So now we've got Africa there. If we go back on the timeline, let's move back a bit further, click play, it will transition through and then you'll see Africa, right? So something nice and simple. Let's move across the timeline and we want to move to, let's see, eight seconds. So let's go to a 16, around 16 seconds. So that would be right here, uh, right here. Let's click on this clip and cut it. We'll delete this end part. Let's add another video clip. Let's do um, America. Let's drag that one in. So we'll drag that to here. And then again, we want to, we're on 16. So we want to drag across where it says 15. 15 will be here. If you look just above this clip, you will see the time code there if I move it slightly. So 15 is here. We'll go back to our template, click on this echo. Is really selected from before we just drag and drop it here we'll select this clip or this uh, text title let's move to the end of that transition right here press paste and then we just want to type in america right so let's go to effects let's move to the middle of the title click on it and then just change the text to america and let's just do the last one so 8 16 24 so we're going to be on 24 seconds which is right about here right here let's click it cut it delete that end part, we'll go back to here, we'll drag in India, let's drag that one in, and then 24, so we're gonna be on 23 on the drag, so let's drag it back, so it's one second crossfade here. Let's go back to templates, drag this one back in again, select this text title here, move to the end of that transition, and paste it, and then we want to just type in India now, right? So let's select it, let's go to the effects, title type in India and as we scrub across that we'll see India here and I think we've got one more clip let's see we've got United Kingdom so 8 16 24 32 we want to be on 32 seconds is right here so we'll cut it let's move across the timeline here delete this end part and we'll drag in United Kingdom let's snap that here so we're on 32, so we want to crossfade one second to 31 seconds here. Let's go back to template, drag in this one here. So we get the same crossfade. We'll select this title, move to the end of this clip, paste it, and then we just want to type in United Kingdom. So we'll click here. And remember, when you're in templates, you want to move back to effects, and at the top, you've got the title editor here, right? So let's move to the middle of the clip, and we'll paste in United Kingdom, and then we want to finish this off on 40 seconds, right? 40 would be right here. So I'm just keeping my eye on the timeline here or the, uh, the time duration here. Let's cut this and then let's delete this end part. I think it would be wise if we just take this uh, Planet Earth clip, let's copy that one and then we'll paste it right at the end and then we'll drag this across. So this is 40, so we're going to be on 39. 39 transition. And we'll go back to template and drag this in here again. And then I think we'll fade it out at the end. So let's just fade this out. And let's go to the beginning and maybe we do a little fading of this planet on the beginning. Let's just see how that looks. Something like this I think would be cool. Now, uh, we just want to add some audio. So I've downloaded that audio track. Let's take the MP3 file, drag and drop that onto the timeline here. 
and it should be long enough to cover all of this clip. You can hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So I want to go to the end of this clip, click on this audio, cut it and delete the end part. And then I want to reduce the audio volume down to minus 12 dB or minus 10, something between 10 and 12, something like that. It's normally, a, it's going to be quite, not too loud basically. Then we can drag this across. This will fade out the audio and this will drag it across here and that will fade it in. So we've done pretty, pretty good job. We've done quite a lot of editing. This could have been your own content. It doesn't have to be stuff you downloaded from the internet. It could be a birthday party. It could be a business event or something like that. Um, it could be anything, right? We'll click play and then the audio will fade in. And then at the end, the audio will fade out. And we've done that pretty quick. If you think about it, we managed to cut and edit all the video, add our titles in for each section. We've got the music playing in the background. And I think we've done a pretty good job, fairly quick, uh, considering, um, you know, we haven't spent a lot of time on it. Of course, you can add different transitions to this. You don't have to use the transitions I used or the fonts or that title style. But the idea is just to give you that basic knowledge so that you can um, get up to speed and start creating your own and editing your own clips together to create your little movie sequence. So we'll just wait for this to finish. That is pretty much done. That should fade out towards the end. The music fades out and then the video clip will fade out. Let's save that. Let's just save it. Let's just minimize that and we'll close this. So that's how you go about adding text titles to video clips using Magix Movie Edit Pro. I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial.